in the gym. We're gonna get a good workout in. It's kind of cold today, so we didn't do a whole lot of stretching or activation. We're just gonna dive right in with a you go, I go. We're doing a lot of that right now and we really like it. So we're gonna do 30 heavy rope double unders. Pat's gonna use his RX Smart Gear Zeus rope, and I'm gonna use the Rogue weighted rope that we used at the 2016 games. Then we're gonna go into 20 wall balls. He's gonna use a 30, I'm gonna use a 20. Right now we're throwing to about eight and a half feet, um, which is kind of fun because it speeds up your wall ball cycle. So we're just adding a heavier wall ball. And then we're gonna finish with a 10 cal standing bike on the C2, damper on 10. The goal is to sprint the round, tag the other person, and I think we're gonna go five rounds each. We'll see how this goes. We're gonna warm up. They perfect, but it's worth it, then begin to make When they embrace, they say they purpose Competition slain, bring up on this pain Top where I remain, on the totem chain Step inside the game, make a total change Winning isn't everything, it's the only thing For the taking, this history in the making These titles that y'all be claiming Like sweat on faces, I break it I'm in the league of the favorites Just give me reason to shake it The difference between our instinct Cause I'm a beast and your basic face it all Leaders never make excuses for mistakes at all Mama never raised a loser, that mistake is y'all My opponents came for school and then I came to ball The writing's on the wall, I go off From the pupil, now I'm the master Grew to be stronger Grew to be faster, grew to be what haters ever imagined Look where I'm going, see what I'm after I'm the creator, I'm a crafter Learn from the losses, putting the stats I wrote it in victory, but I'm not gassed I'm taking it to a place I can imagine Go harder in the pain Give it all before I give up I was born to be a great I was made to be a winner And before I never break Risk it all, I'm not a quitter I was born to be a great I was made to be a winner I've been on my grind, now I'm on one hey. I'm a winner, I was born one Put in all my time till the war's won hey. I'm a winner, I was born one I've been on my grind, now I'm on one hey. I'm a winner, I was born one Put in all my time till the war's won hey. I'm a winner, I was born one I'm a winner, I was born one Go harder in the pain Give it all before I give up I was born to be a great I was made to be a winner And before I never break Risk it all, I'm not a quitter I was born to be a great I was made to be a winner I'm alive and remain a victor My battle scars that show that I am far from a quitter Went through it all and I'm still striving That makes me a winner When it's me versus the globe Where my back to the wall And now my lowest of lows Still I put up a brawl Was never in me to fall Never in me to fall So when my story is told They'll say I gave it my all Raised in the jungle Struggle still I survive Came from the rubble So you know my stars alive For me to be on top of the world Before my demise I put it all in my mind Whatever I want is mine I'm blessed with a dream If that's all I got, that's all I need I'm gonna be That was rough. I don't know if it's because the air is so cold. I'm not used to it. I'm not complaining. It feels good. But it was tough. Um, 30 heavy rope just jacked your heart rate, and with the heavy rope, it blows up your shoulders a little bit more. Into the wall balls with a quick cycle rate. Like the wall balls for me felt the hardest. And then I know he was saying the 10 cows on the bike was the longest. I don't know, it was tough. What do you think? Rope felt good every round. It wasn't too big of a chunk. Grip was okay. I like wall balls, so I was good with those, but that standing bike just crushes me. Uh, I think right after you have some blood in your legs too, it just takes like two cows and I feel like they're just full. So that was kind of the crux for me, but timing was perfect. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, if you're by yourself and you don't have a partner to do this with, or maybe you don't have a bike, what you could do, so every three minutes do one round, 30 heavy rope double unders, you could do thrusters instead of a wall ball. So 20 dumbbell thrusters, 
if you only have one dumbbell, 10 single arm dumbbell thrusters, kettlebell, whatever it is. Um, if you do have a wall ball, you could do wall ball thrusters and then you could go into 10 burpees or something just to jack your heart rate up. Um, if you have a bike, definitely use it for those 10 calories. But it's a really great round, five rounds, one round every three minutes. Or if you have a partner, go, you go, I go. Hi, buddy. He always is watching. Um, so we just got these today. They just arrived. Perfect timing. These are silencer drop crash pads. Oh my gosh, they're heavy. So our neighbors have definitely all been walking by wondering what we're doing and I'm sure they can hear us dropping weights. The other thing is, is obviously our concrete pad in our garage is made to be a garage, not a gym. So we don't want to crack the floor. We have the three fourths um, inch mats down, three quarters inch mats down. However, like if we drop it in some spots, it almost sounds a little bit hollow. So we just want to make sure we're being extra safe. And we don't damage our garage. So we got some crash pads, one for the garage and two for the courtesy of all of our neighbors since we're lifting in here a lot now. So we're gonna unbox these suckers and see what they're like. We got these, these are Titan mats, but we actually ordered them off of Amazon. And a lot of stuff is really slow right now. Or actually these aren't Titan, I went with a different brand. Uh, I think the Titan was sold out and I ended up buying these off Amazon is what it was. So these are yes all mats. Yes for all. Yes for all. Actually, out of here, and there are four inches a piece, so they might even be a little bit bigger than that. Sweet, help kind of protect our garage floor as well as maybe irritate our neighbors a little less since all of a sudden we've got weight dropping over here. We are gonna do a clean complex. So I haven't got to clean in a while. I've been waiting for the crash pads because I don't wanna drop weight. So I'm gonna use a guy's bar today, which will be interesting. Um, sometimes they do that. Like you'll go to a competition and the width or the diameter of the bar is actually thicker like a male bar. So we're gonna use that and just share with Pat and see how that goes. But I think we're gonna do one clean from the ground into one hang clean, walk forward, drop it on the pads, reset. And we'll probably hit one lift every 90 seconds or so for about eight to 10 sets building up to heavy. So we'll see how this goes. out my clean it's either my max is 235 and that's what I just hit with a guy's bar or my max is 240 but I don't think I've ever hit 240 I'm not sure I'll have to ask my sister she usually keeps track of all my numbers for me but regardless whether I max it tied it whatever I mean that's 98 or 99 percent so I'm pretty pumped and the crash pads made a huge difference I didn't feel like the neighbors were ready to kill me before I was dropping the bar and looking around like who's gonna call the cops or who's gonna come over and yell at me for making lots of noise so that was really fun. Get some crash pads, they're awesome. Uh, so I worked up to 305 today and that probably should have had a little bit more in the tank but I stopped, it just felt heavy. Especially the hang clean, um, you know, it just felt heavy today. But like Christy was saying, the crash pads did make a huge difference. If you guys are on the fence about them, um, they make a, it goes from like a lot of noise rattling around and kind of shaking the house to basically just nothing. So it does add a little something extra that you've got to drop the weight on, but as far as noise reduction, they do 100% work if that is something you guys are on the fence about. I think Pat just had a really good point. So we've been doing all of the same training and I maxed my clean because I felt really good. And for him, it felt heavy today. So I chose to do the hang clean, or sorry, the clean plus hang clean. 
up to about 90% and then I hit three good singles to get towards that max where he just called it at the six sets of the clean and the hang clean, just feeling good, getting a little bit of weight on the bar, but he knew today wasn't the day. So I think that's really important for you guys. If you're having a day where you're just not feeling it or the bar feels heavy, don't beat yourself up. Just focus on good technique, be proud of what you hit for that day and then move on. You'll have another day that you feel really good. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes when percentages are written, you don't always have to hit them. Uh, just do your best for that day. Hope you guys enjoyed that session. I think the biggest takeaway is one, if you're not feeling good, that's okay. Definitely just listen to your body. And the other thing is don't stop moving right now. It's so good for our stress relief. Obviously, if you turn on social media or you start scrolling, you're gonna see a thousand workouts. Everybody's offering something for you to do at home. Pick and choose them. Plan your days. Make yourself do it, just like you would have a coach or somebody holding you accountable. That's what Pat and I have been doing and it's really paying off and we're getting back into this new normal and we're starting to find a routine and feel good again. So I think that's really, really important for you guys. If you guys wanna follow along with what we're doing, you can click the links below. We offer exactly what I'm doing. All the workouts are tried and tested. They're super fun. Uh, we put our notes in, we put our times in. That's Christy's training plan. We also offer Ibex 60, which would be for home gym or garage gym. And then we also offer Ibex home, which is for a dumbbell, jump rope, or lim limited equipment. So definitely click those links and check them out if you're interested in what we're doing. Make sure to like, sub subscribe, and comment on anything that you would love to see us to bring you next. So we're excited. We're gonna keep bringing you guys videos, but we wanna make sure we're bringing what you wanna see. So please comment below and we'll definitely make sure to get those videos up and going. Have a great day, guys.